I'm Andy. And I'm Olivia. And, and this, this is our new vlog. Where we'll be telling you about all of our adventures in life. And keep you updated. Many of our friends have kindly let us stay in their houses after we moved out of our house. We were blessed enough to have our church pay for us to be able to go to a mission training program in Colorado to help us prepare for moving to another country. They took care of sleeping arrangements and food, and we met many new friends. This was during the month of August. While in Colorado, we were given a full tour of Compassion International's home base. As I mentioned, this was in Colorado, so it was really beautiful. This was our view from outside of the window of our room. We really saw many beautiful sights. Getting back from Colorado, we saw many of our friends in the last month that we were in Cincinnati. We took weekend trips, trips to Kings Island, and Andon just had a few get-togethers at parks to visit with some of his friends. Some of our good friends also threw us a going away party, which was very kind. We went to Dave and Buster's with these friends from Columbus at the beginning of September. We've also been seeing lots of family. This is my dad's side of the family, and we went to Dave and Buster's with them a week ago. We went there seven years ago also and took the same picture as this one, except for we redid it. Sadly, my great-grandma died in the beginning of September, and it was a very t sad time. However, she lived a nice long 86 years, and we got to celebrate her life one weekend and see all of my grandpa's side of the family, including all of my cousins on my mom's side. We took one day a couple weeks ago to say bye to Cincinnati and went to Taste of Belgium. We've been blessed to have many people pray for us, including all of the staff at our church. We sold my dad's Jeep, and that meant that we had to take my mom to work early in the morning a couple days before we left. Here's an idea of what packing your entire life looks like. We also went to Amish country with my grandmother and great-grandmother. If you didn't know yet, the reason that I'm doing this is because we're moving to Nicaragua, so I'm hoping to be able to keep people updated on what we've been doing and all the different types of things that we've had happening lately. As we've been traveling a lot, I've been really missing one thing the most, and that's having organization. So I don't like living out of a suitcase and not having my organized jewelry and everything like that. So that's one thing that's been really hard for me, but there's nothing else that I've really missed too much other than my friends and family. This past week we have been doing a whole lot of driving. We've been um, staying up in Columbus, so We've um, been in London the first half of the week, which is a small town where my parents grew up. And then we went to Buckeye Lake at my grandma's house and spent a couple days up there. After that, we, were we would stay with our friends, the child, who my parents met when they went on a go trip at our church to Africa. This is Jillian, and they lived in India for a couple this years and have kids close to Andon and I. Four days from today, we don't 
still have a long time, but we have everything packed and hopefully we're ready enough. This shows the three organizations my dad will be working with when we move. In Texas, we also visited my mom's brother, Owen, in Dallas. This is a picture of us with all of our bags at the airport. And this is a nice man who helped us with all of our bags at the airport. These slides are for the observation of how we failed to get a picture of us with airplanes in the background. And then reads a book.